you are watching Momo Beginner Swings. For further tutorials, please subscribe to us and also ring this bell for further notification in your mailbox. Hey guys, this is Momo and you are watching Momo Beginner Swing. Today we are representing you Peter Pan collar dress with long bodice. So today's agenda is Peter Pan collar dress and the surprise is we are going you a free Peter Pan collar pattern in the link in the you can find the link in the description so let us start with our cutting we are working with our bodice cutting so this is a long bodice pattern which we already make uh, uh, which we already make this long bodice dress a uh, long time ago but uh, with peter pan collar dress this looks very nice and uh, it gives a little contrast to it so i'm just using it the i'm using i'm right now i'm making a bag bodice cutting so this is for around 16 inch in size in total and uh, so our bodice is going to be a 12 inch and our skirt is going to be a 14 inch so you can see that uh, our skirt is going to be a kind of ruffle thing uh, ruffle uh, view so i have a few things to cut i'm not explaining the color over here so color will be downloaded you can download uh, the free pattern of the peter pan color dress peter pan color has a different kind of views you can say that there's there are different kind of patterns available and uh, this is my version and uh, it is very nice and dedicated and easy to use and you can make three sizes with this the sizes are as follows 16 18 and 20 inch so it is for one 1.5 and two air girls uh, they are going to be very easy to use for these uh, dresses so this is the bonus part of this video i'm done with my front bodice cutting and my back bodice cutting so what we need to do we need to make our skirt as you can as you see I have just measured mm, the bodice and it is 12 inch in long so I'm just uh, putting out my uh, skirt the sleeves are optional if you want to make it sleeveless or you can make a cap sleeve you can use a flutter sleeve um, whatever you want so, or even a flutter sleeve or puff sleeve the both are goes well I'm using flutter sleeve over here. I'm not showing you a cutting video over here. Maybe you are going to found the link in the description for the download of the same size of this dress. So you can make it by your own. <laughs> okay, this is our pattern. I'm just uh, completing it. So let us start with our swing. You can see that I'm explaining the pattern uh, in my hand. It is a collar, the front, the back and this is a sleeve uh, you can see that i'm using a double v the pink plain fabric and the printed our fabric and firstly we are going to start with our collar the peter pan collar dress uh, the peter pan collar so uh, we have you can see we have a uh, four parts of peter pan collar and what i'm going to do i'm going to apply a uh, eyelet lace with it as you can see i've already uh, did uh, gathers around with the lace so i'm just going to do it li like that i'm just going to do a single seam around uh, along with the wider area of the peter pan collar and after that we are going to stitch it you can see that i'm just mapping over here and it is going to look like this i'm just uh, cutting it so it is going to be the measurement of the dresses um, if you are new try to give a uh, get us before you start just setting up the thread with my vintage machine this is my eyelid you 
and I'm going to start with the sewing stuff. Uh, I'm going to make it super fast in a very uh, in a various time of the coming uh, later on in the video. So because these are the just the sewing parts, let me do it in a super fast way. So I'm just done with my Peter Pan collar side, one side I've just attached the lace on it, the eyelet lace and uh, just finishing this thing. So what we are going to do, I need to map the other one. The, uh, I'm just uh, for your kind of information, I'm just making a first one side of the collar. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to attach it. going to seam it just see the upper side which is the straight one the more straight one and just see along on the lace so it gonna be the fabric the color the lace and the color it it become a kind of packet so it looks very nice and lace is the major part of it because um, it gives a vintage look in the dress um, you are going to be immensely happy when you see the result of it I'm just making the notches so it will become easier for us to revert the dress and trying to sharp the edges be careful with it guys because it makes your dress very, very you can scar your dress or when you cut your dress or even you cut your collar so try to be little bit softer with it when you are using shear after doing this, I'm just going to do a finish seam. We are done with our finished seam. You can see that our first color is ready. It looks very nice. It is very delicated with pink, white and pink and blue shade. Uh, pure baby color. Okay, I have done my sec with my second color as per following the same pattern which we had done uh, with our first color. Now, what we are making, we are making our sleeve. This is a simple form of cap plus flutter sleeve and it is it is a boat kind of shape what I am doing I am doing the same strategy uh, just follow the same strategy over here um, just seaming the lace over the side of the sleeve Basically, I am seaming lace over uh, on the hem side of the sleeve. We are done with our lace. As you can see, it looks like this. I am going to attach the plain fabric I have told you in the start of the sewing part just going to attach it like, attach it like that
I just revert it you can see that and this it is because uh, it is a plain simple straight seaming so that's why I didn't make any notches as you can see if you don't want any um, fumbleness in the fabric between the fabric just remove the extra stuff if you are having any extra stuff as you can see my lace are the uh, my lace is the is having the basically having the raw edges if you have the bising along with it so you don't need to remove it you just need to use it as it just going to do it in a super fast way I'm done with my second sleeve and you can see that it looks very nice and it is going to be a cap plus flutter sleeve. Now we are working in start working with our bodice part. As you can see we have made the back side uh, the uh, is our back side is going to have a buttonhole so it is going to be wider. I've just uh, mapped my bodice with bodice. It's just stitching it the show and just stitching their shoulders we are done with our facing part now I am working along with the lining and just sewing the shoulders so basically what we are doing over here the, fr the first part of the bodice is that we are sewing the shoulders of front facing and the lining just try to make it there and make this shoulder side little will press um, if it, or I'm just using my finger to press the seam because we need to join why we need it because we need to join our both shoulders with each other the facing and the lining so it should not uh, disturb each other you can see that I'm just straightening that straighten them and their seams and their uh, cover things are not going to disturb each other and it doesn't make uh, the over sense uh, or you can say it doesn't disturb each other now I am going to attach my collar along with the neckline uh, as you can see I am attaching the collar along with the front facing so th this, this is the main part of our dress um, be focused on it please and you can download this Peter Pan collar pattern for three sizes the one pattern is going to use for three sizes that is 16 inch 18 inch and 20 inch dress you can download uh, it from the link you can find the link in the description from where you can download it before we start the collar I have just made the small gathers on the sleeves you can see that we have already uh, taught you about how to give a ruffles along with the sleeve so you can do it by yourself I've just made the notch on the sleeve and joining it along with the we have just see our gathers sleeve on the our arm hole so what you need to do you just need to do a single seam along with the arm hole and it will just then you will go ahead and you can see that I've give the lots of gathers in it because I need to make the flutter butterfly kind uh, look kind of dress so that's why 
this is my first part I done with I have done with our um, front sleeve and now as you can see I have just make the double folded and make a notch and sewing or um, on it uh, sewing it on our armhole the second arm the second sleeve we are doing as you can see what uh, when I m m make uh, I just match uh, I've just matched the notches of the armhole and the sleeve I have I just try to settle down the seam of the shoulder and then I sew it so it didn't disturb our lining and the front facing we are done with our first part and you can see that I've just um, take out my lining I'm just trying to explain you what uh, we need to do and then we will going to uh, sew collar now we need to make the collar first I've ju I'm just starting to sew it uh, along with the from the front back side and going to sew uh, it, as you can see I have already pinned it so there is no chance of uh, being this settlement or just misplace it uh, we are so make it sure that you will pin it it will make it easier to see you so here you go we are just we have just seen our Peter Pan color Peter Pan color on the dress so here, here's the look it looks like this and you as you can and you can see the there is no fumbleness or there's nothing like that over here so we what we are doing right now we are attaching our shoulders I'm just spinning it now I am attaching the second shoulder make it we are doing this so our shoulders seams is going to settle down because we are using a simple seam if we use a weld seam or some kind of seam so it doesn't uh, disturb it because we are using a simple seam it is easier because this dress is already have a uh, very much steps in it if you guys like our tutorial please subscribe to us what we are doing we are doing just a simple seam along with the edges of the neck side now we are seaming the back side of the dress you can see a zipper part or uh, no no not a zipper part we are not using the zipper the buttonhole part just going to do a simple seam okay well, and now we are back with the, our sleeve side so what we need to do i've just put inside my sleeve and just going to sew it 
so what is the layers are there the the facing the sleeves which uh, which is revert inside the facing uh, which is revert inside the collar side and the lining so there are three layers i'm just going to seam it as you can see i've used the different color of fabric like white so you have a clear idea what i am doing right now you can see that how it looks like and i have done the side seam now the last seam we need to done is here we need to put the sleeve inside then need to cover it with the lining and just going to see it So here is the thing we are done with this and making the notches so it is easier to revert. We are done with our notches now. Now I've just removed the pins that we have. This is the main step that how you put out the all the stuff. I've just pick out my sleeve, then my collar, and now the th they are just coming out. Now I've just put pull out my second sleeve with collar and now this is my one side of button hole that, that is I'm pulling out baby dresses need under stitch because they need to be comfortable and otherwise they didn't look nice and classy and neither are fashionable so try to make it more funky with this kind of things we are done with the, our reversion now what we need to do we need to sew our side this is a similar technique which we use in a panafre we just combine the facing to facing and then lining to lining and it will sew it If you guys want to learn something and you can request us along with a picture come to our Facebook page and request us on the message so we can give you a proper guideline with even we can provide you a free patron if you uh, can give us a good idea try to share this video as much as you can just extra try to remove it you can see that uh, this is our this is our finished seam on the armhole this is going to be very beautiful very nice and very delicate kind of frog or you can say a dress uh, which represents a pure peter pan collar with flutter cap sleeve it is a butterfly look cap sleeve you know 
and on top of that you are going to have a free pet uh, Peter Pan color pattern which is printable and it can cover three sizes that is 18 16 and 20 now I'm just repeating the second side which is same as we have done the first one so we are done with our both sides and finished seams and you can see that how it looks our our bodies are ready mainly our video is ready now what we need to do we need to uh, gather the skirt and then join it along with the bodies and we are going to have a by step on the waist size so this is our basic part we are done with it so we are done with our skirt and i have our locked it and make it a little bit bias and attach a zigzag lace on it and uh, how, this is how it looks uh, we have already done the skirt making in the previous video so you can watch it uh, from there and now it how it looks i've just made a simple gathers and this is my back side and uh, you can see the peter pan collar it looks very nice and delicate with the flutter cap sleeve a butterfly look sleeve basically what we need to do we need a little bit fencing on it i will going to attach a bias tape on the waistband and going to do a little bit decoration on it just going to deploy a, my a little little kind of flowers on it a fabric flowers and then a beads and this is my similar bias tape which is going to kind of uh, which i'm going to make a little a small kind of uh, bow and just going to attach it in the middle, the middle of the collar it looks gives a very nice and dedicated look to it if you guys like this tutorial please tell us and comment us and especially grab the free peter pen collar from the description if um, you didn't found any uh, if you didn't found pattern let me know in the comment back section box below So this is the final look of this tutorial hope you like this tutorial please subscribe to us like this video and share this video as well see you soon